Hi, in this video we begin chapter 11 of Young and Friedman's University Physics, but of course any physics textbook is going to deal with equilibrium and elasticity at some point, and so it's chapter 11 in Young and Friedman's University Physics. What is equilibrium? Well, we previously discussed equilibrium, and if you're in any physics course you will have previously discussed uh, equilibrium uh, somewhere in, in Young and Friedman's, it's in 4.1 and 5.1, uh, but uh, previously, we've only talked about equilibrium in terms of a point, so that's been somewhat theoretical. In this uh, chapter, we're going to begin to talk about equilibrium in an extended body, um, where we're going to have to find the center of, of gravity, for example. And also, um, up to this point, we've not discussed equilibrium uh, bringing in the rotational uh, dimension. So when we've talked about equilibrium before, uh, we've only talked about it in terms of translational motion, that is, the, the straight line kinds of motion. So, um, up, up till now, we've discussed uh, back in, in 4.1, for example, I think it was, we talked about how a body is at equilibrium, or a point is at equilibrium, if the, the total net forces, the sum of the forces, is zero. And then it's at equilibrium. Uh, this chapter is, in particular, concerned with what's called static equilibrium. Uh, static e equilibrium is about an extended body that's at rest. That's static. It's at rest. So it, it, it's not going to be either moving or uh, rotating. So that brings us to the first section of this chapter, which basically sets out the two conditions for equilibrium. A body is at equilibrium if, one, its center of mass has zero acceleration, um, so that is, it's not moving forward or, or backwards in terms of its center of mass. And secondly, uh, which is what we've already seen in the book, the sum of the forces on it is zero. Now we can add, after, since we've uh, discussed in chapter 10 rotational forces, torque, we can now say uh, and introduce a second condition for equilibrium. So it's not just if the, the forces to move it in straight line motion, translational motion, are zero, but also... For it to be in total equilibrium, it, the body can have no tendency to rotate. And the way we say that is the sum of the torques, um, the so sum of the torque forces on it uh, must be zero. Two conditions for equilibrium. The, the translational forces, the forces on it, on the center of mass must be zero, have a zero acceleration, that is. And then secondly, the body has no tendency to rotate. It's not, it's not going to accelerate in straight line, and it's not going to rotate. Those are the two conditions for equilibrium. 